welcome to my channel. Today we were going to be, uh, well, I guess, showcasing uh, this engine I built. So originally I, I uh, made this engine for a guy named Kristen Aguil. He built a SS Jeremiah O'Brien 1 to 1 scale. So I made him an engine 1 to 1 scale. I'm not sure about the width as being 1 to 1 scale, but I know the height and length is the same. Now this ladder won't be actually in the final product that you will be downloading out uh, of that battery. This is just so I can get up there. So this is a full walk around right here. Right here you got an air pump. Well I don't I don't really know how it's connected, but from pictures and stuff like that, it just had that. So this is your jacking wheel or flywheel. This is your jacking engine. So this will start spinning it. It's kind of like the starter in your car. Over here is the engine control. And there's also a button for a reverse, which you'll have to hook up. Now if you press F, you'll get into this little area. And you connect, can connect uh, oil pressure, water pressure. I guess it won't be oil pressure, but uh, you got your steam valve position right here. So if I move that forward, the crankshaft will start to move, and the pistons will move up and down. That's the fastest speed you can go at. I'm going to decrease it just because of the noise and. I don't want to use up all my battery. Because I only got one of these. Or two. Yeah, two. So to actually hook this up in your engine, there's a little pivot around here. You know, just connect the battery to there. And then connect the control to here. Now these catwalks up here you can access. You'll have to build your own catwalks that connect to this. It's just the guideline. But there are these smaller guy or uh, catwalks that go in here, so you can actually get across the engine a little bit. This is for steam intake. I didn't add a uh, exhaust just because I didn't really know where it went. So you can add that probably like here, maybe, or maybe at the top. Well, not at the top, somewhere around here. But that's basically it. Uh, if you want to, you could change the gear ratio on the pivot to make this go faster or slower if you wanted to. And you just connect this spinning piece of whatever to your powertrain or tunnel shaft, whatever you want to call it. And that should be it. Oh, and this does move as well. Now it does have a problem. It kind of like pulls itself apart right there. Try to fix it, but it doesn't really work that way. But it's the best I could do. As long as you don't look at it too hard, it should be fine. Now, I will be using this engine for a ship. I'm going to do a sort of let's play tutorial. I actually filmed the tutorial uh, 20 minutes ago, but my sound didn't record, so it's probably just going to be a let's play now because the whole is already done. But I'll see you when that video comes out, I guess.